Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another 2v2 match for you, and this game is going to be on Scorched Haven, and it will be between, between Blue Rain, who is the red Zerg, and Blue Rain's partner will be Nubasaurus, the blue Terran, and their opponents will be Super Ninja, the teal Protoss, and Azad. The purple Protoss, and as usual, Super Ninja and Azad sending out their probes at the same time. Azad apparently not very happy about the fact that Super Ninja's probe is in front. And so, as we get underway here, as the two Protoss players are doing their scouting, uh, I want to introduce uh, the teams a little bit more. I already introduced them, but I wanted. To Whoa! Blue Rain and Double Gas! Oh, Double Gas cancel! Look at that, how creative is he with that that's something that I've never I tried it like before and it just seems a little unnecessary like you, you kind of you do lose a little bit of minerals doing that I guess I don't know blue rain is pretty damn good so maybe I should just uh, shut up but um yeah blue rain and Nubasaurus are both really really good players there as a team uh oh uh oh cheesy time is I throwing down a gateway inside Nubasaurus's base Make it two gateways, oh my god. I have never seen anything like this. Like two gateways inside the opponent's base? What in the hell? And is Super Ninja going to be cheesing on the other base? Yes, yes. He's doing a forge block down here, and this is pre-latest patch, so you can block this with just those two things, I think. But oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. So yeah, Nubasaurus, this guy's like a really, really good 1v1 player. Him and Blue Rain are they have like a 70 something percent win percentage in 2v2s but just not enough games to make it way up the charts Azad and Super Ninja though have fallen off a little bit lately they are actually down to ninth place on the 2v2 so y'all are slacking you better get uh, on top of your business by doing more crazy shenanigans like this <laughs> building two gateways next to your opponent's command center so I have never seen anything like this and Nubasaurus, why is he going to be throwing down a bunker? But is it going to be too late? He's got a Marines about to pop out, but so is the Zealot and a second Zealot. And oh man, the Zealot though. Oh, this Marine is just running for his life. The Zealot's going to chase him around. A couple of SCVs are trying to protect it. The SCVs have created a nice wall, but since there's two Zealots, they're going to be ripping through these SCVs. The, the bunker is finished, but is he going to be able to get anything inside it? The, the Marine desperately trying to get in this bunker. Hurry up, Marine. Marine gets in the bunker, and that one Marine in the bunker may be enough to buy him some time. These Zealots are about to fall. Another Zealot's coming out. More Zealots on the way. I want to check what's going on down here. Blue Rain is stuck in his base with six Zerglings and a couple of cannons. Make it three, four cannons. So Super Ninja has basically just uh, slapped Blue Rain in the face and said, okay, you're not going to be able to help your uh, teammate. And Azide, meanwhile with more and more zealots coming out. So will he be able to do anything though? Because this bunker here is going to provide a lot of protection. So really, what is Azide going to be able to do? <clears throat> because if he overcommits, then the, the Marines will just run into the bunker and kill the zealots. So the zealots are going to keep running back and forth, trying to regenerate shields and whatnot, trying to make more zealots, trying to get at a critical mass. He's got three zealots now, and is he going to try? Excuse me there. Is he going to try and press it with three zealots to break the bunker? No. This one zealot. Is he going to fall? Yes. The zealot dies. So very, very intense right off the bat. Talk about early aggression. This is what early aggression is all about as there are gateways inside Numasaurus's base. But he realized, he's like realizing it is going to fail. Nice play by Numasaurus. Actually, he's salvaging this bunker. Could that be a little bit premature? No, because it looks like Azad has decided to fall back. And now, are, is he? What is he going to do with these zealots? He was going to try and trap those marines there for a second, but marines wisely, wisely pulling back. You can tell the level of play in this game right now. Nubasaurus, no slouch, will be taking out this pylon. Those gateways are now unpowered. These zealots need to run away. The probe's going to run away. It looks like Super Ninja and Azad are going to have to run all the way home. And I don't know what they're going to do. Blue Rain has an Overlord in here to scout, but there's cannons inside. Uh, by Super Ninja's, um, there's one cannon, I should say, by his mineral line here. Uh, gateway, more gateways out here. Um, I don't want to miss anything, but Blue Rain has been forced to make a bunch of roaches just to try and break this. Now, if he focuses down this pylon, he probably is thinking, oh, I could just kill this pylon and be okay, but there's actually a pylon in the back that's going to keep these three cannons 
powered. So Roach died there a little bit unnecessarily. I'm wondering what is Blu-ray going to be able to do? This positioning on these cannons is so good. Oh my god, this pylon is going to go down in this... Uh, oh, but the second... Oh, the Marines, a nice timing push. I didn't even notice that Numasaurus was pushing out. So all of this is going to quickly die. And what are Azide and Super Ninja going to be able to do? Are they going to... Are they done? I mean, what are they going to be able to do to come back in this game? Because they're... That was a pretty impressive um, push right there, but... Um, but uh, nicely defended. Blue Rain keeping his cool back there and pumping out some roaches like he needed to. And Nubasaurus nicely done. Throwing the bunker down in the mineral line. A second bunker in the back just in case. Putting a barracks even way behind his mineral line that he needed. And um, so, yeah, keeping talk about keeping your cool. Nubasaurus, man. But is he going to get a little bit um, ahead of himself? Blue Rain does have quite a bit of roaches here. And it looks like going to be starting to kill these pylons. And sentries are warping in now. As you, you like how I, I combined morphing and warping into one word right there. They are warping in right now and going to be able to hold this front for a while with those sentries. And same with Azide. So the advantage of Protoss, get those sentries out, block the ramp. So what are they going to do? What what uh, Nubasaurus and Blu-ray need to do is force all the energy usage on those sentries. Force them to use up all their energy and... Um, try and press. So we'll see if that is what they do or if they decide to fall back and macro up. I don't know, but there's a lot of brooches here. So if they can get into one of the bases, it could be game over. But all this extra time from these force fields is really making a big difference. Azide actually has Blink almost finished. So, and actually Stimpak is still a little ways off for Nubasaurus. So um, that could be trouble and he's going to keep trying to press this. The sentries are getting very low on energy. And I think Blue Rain might be thinking that more sentries are going to get warped in here, though. And could they just continually do this? More and more sentries warping in. It uh, looks like Azide may not be able to... to no, he just barely had enough there for one. And the sentry play. The force field just keeping them out. There's nothing they can do to get through these freaking force fields. And you're wondering, because that overlord that was here earlier, I don't know where it went, it went up here. That overlord could have made a huge difference in that fight. If he had had, if Blue Rain had anticipated that happening and brought that overlord around here to this side and given vision up there, wow, this could be game over already. But uh, they were unable to break the front. And in the meantime, Azide and Super Ninja pumping out stalkers, zealots, sentries, and now they are ready to go on the offensive as Blue Rain and Nubasaurus have been trying to get expansions down and Azide and Super Ninja meanwhile have just been throwing down more gateways, more army. He has on, uh, Azide is on, looks like three gate and he has blink done and Super Ninja is on four gate. So um, a very potent, very, very potent army right now. More proxy pylons are going down all over the place for Azide and Super Ninja's got one back here. And probably going to get another one up here. So these two guys, they know how to play the double toss. There's no question about it. A couple of bunkers. Three bunkers are going down in the front for Numasaurus. But is it going to be too late? It looks like it might be too late. As a couple of force fields could totally annihilate this army right now. A little bit late on the force fields. The Roaches are able to get back. But all these bunkers are going to go down. So many stalkers and sentries coming in right now. These Roaches are totally outnumbered. This expansion timing. Bad, 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 bad news from Blue Rain and Nubasaurus. They they should not have tried to get these expansions, and that is going to probably cost them the game as the roaches all die and the queen dies. And that is going to be it. Nubasaurus leaves the game. So even though the really super early cheese did not pay off immediately, they were able to come back and win this in a straight three-gate blink stalker and four-gate push as their opponents tried to go for the expansions a little bit too soon too soon a little bit too soon so thank you azide for setting me this game it was a pleasure to cast thank you guys for watching this is irie starcraft and peace out